Hello there. Welcome. This is probably going to be multi part two. Because why not? I mean, there's no harm in it. And I decided not to waste time with the sewers crap and uh, show you what I intend to show you this time. Because I got it a little wrong before. And uh, through a little bit of research and the help of a mod I have installed, I'm going to show you how Oblivion is actually pretty goddamn easy to level up in. And this whole thing about Oblivion's leveling system being dog crap is, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, not dumb because, I mean, it's a little outdated. And it has a little bit of problems, but it's not a problem if you, you know, level up properly. That's how it goes. So, how it works is it's called efficient leveling, alright? So, you can play Oblivion in two ways, in my opinion, alright? The first way is to turn on the game, you know, go in here and put the difficulty lowish around in, in this range here. Probably not even around here because if you screw up, the game can still be a bit too tough if it's around here and you haven't got really, really decent weapons and the ability to recharge them constantly. I mean, that or good stealth, all that good crap. Uh, so you're probably best off, you know, putting the difficulty slide around here and moving forward. That's kind of the easiest way to go, right? <laughs> That's what I think anyway. However, I usually play around here. This area onwards, you want to only do this if you are either A, breaking the game through the power of glitches, which I mean a lot of people do, or B, you're efficiently leveling, which is the, basically, it's, it's leveling up in Oblivion the proper way. So how leveling in this game works up is actually pretty goddamn simple. And uh, while I tried it on stream the other day and I kind of messed it up and didn't realize where I went wrong, I now know where I went wrong. So it works in a very simple way. You have attributes in this game. Strength, intelligence, willpower, agility, speed, endurance, personality, and luck. And each of these are tied to the governing skills, all right? So for strength, you have it connected to blunt blade, hand to hand, you know, physical skills, which if you come and you check over here, blunt block, you'll see what attributes are connected to. You'll see the hand to hand is strength and uh, blunt is strength. You know, pretty. it's pretty simple to connect the skills to the attributes. This part's really easy. And when you may start the game, you have to pick seven major skills in your class. And what major skills do is when you level up a major skill, this bar down here will level up a bit. Leveling up a major skill 10 times, or 10 times overall, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. The number might be a bit less at the start, but I think it's 10 times. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain it is. Uh, this will up level up, and then from there you can increase your health, you know, put points into uh, your attributes and move forward. When you level up, you'll notice that there's numbers. There's like plus threes and plus twos, and very sometimes, rarely, you'll see plus fives. A lot of people don't understand what governs these numbers, and these numbers are what you want to key on in for efficient leveling. You want to get three plus fives across the board, all right? You want to be able to upgrade your strength plus five, your agility plus five, your endurance plus five, all in once. In that way, that means that every time you level up from here, while the enemies are leveling up, depending on level, not on you, depending on the level of the game or your character, you will level with them, meaning that you'll never actually kind of be behind. It's still be a struggle and you still gotta have decent gear, but it's not gonna be the grind fest that it ends up being for most players when you screw up, because I mean, if you screw up leveling, you know, whatever. How you get these plus fives, that's the main thing. I installed them on. It's called the skill diary. It's a very, very simple thing that I highly recommend using, which is here, right there when you come out of the Imperial Sewers. And what it'll do is when you open it, you can confirm all your skills and stuff like that. I trust them, they usually get it right. So it'll predict that you are three tenths of the way towards level two. And you can select an attribute to view its changes to its skill. So check summary. And what summary will do is it'll tell you how many points you have gained in each one so far. So, this is important. And I know it might be a little confusing so far, but bear with me. Just, you know, with everything we said. Skills are tied to certain attributes, and you need to level up major skills to level up. If you level up minor skills, you won't level up. So you can actually not level up major skills. So this is where people go wrong. You want to get three of these to 10. This will track it. You want to get, so in my case, I want to get endurance to 10, uh, speed or agility to 10, either or. Or strength to 10 and how you do that is leveling up a skill associated with it now this is the problem remember that you need to get so let's say we want to get strength to 10 if you get strength to 10 you'll be able to put plus 5 into strength that's how it works right now we have it at 2 so how do we do that how come you could level up these skills forever and all of a sudden you're not getting your plus fives so where I went wrong the other day was I didn't realize this don't just level up your major skills if you level up your major skills and you hit the level up thing, you can't get any more. No matter how many points you put in, it's not going to matter. It's going to register the... Let's say you have six points in uh, strength and you get plus two or plus three when you level up. If you have that max and it tells you you need to level up and sleep on what you've learned, you won't be able to level... Like, there won't add any more points. 
So how you do this is you also level up minor skills. These don't progress this bar. And so when you level up a minor skill, it'll not progress this, meaning you can still put points in. And what'll happen is your things like strength will continue to get points. So let's say we want to put up agility. All right, we want to get another point into it without leveling up. We'll go and sneak for a while, you know? So our athletics is actually pretty close to leveling up now. So how I'll show you this, guys, and what I mean is, all right? Remember, leveling up minor skills will not level this bar up, all right? And uh, what we'll do is we'll open the skill diary. You'll see now my summary. Currently, agility is at three. I think athletics is uh, agility, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's speed, so my bad. So our speed is currently at 2, and oh yeah, and just in case you want to look at more specifics, if you click into speed, it'll tell you how many points you've put in each one. So as of now, we've put no points into athletics, and our speed is currently at... So if we want to get our speed to 3, and we don't want to level up, and we want to keep going, we get our athletics up. So I'm going to get my athletics up 1. Swimming is the easiest way to get your athletics up in this game, by the way. There's actually a corner near the Imperial City where if you get a rubber band... And you put it around your controller and the analog stick, You or you if you're using a controller, this is on PC. You can get your athletics up super fast. You can just leave for like an hour and it'll be 100. These passive skills are one of the things I absolutely love about this game, which Skyrim does not have. They completely removed passive skills that level up for doing passive things. Which some people deem useless. I think Bethesda did. I don't. It turns out I picked the, uh, it's probably the worst skill to test this out on, but I'm committed. We're so close now. You know, some people say they like watching me because I'm terrible, and, you know, I, sometimes I like, you know, I think, should I take it personally? And then I realize, you know what, that's, uh, that's pretty true. <laughs> right, we're so close to this point, so I think I'll just talk until, like, it's literally at the edge, so you should see it pop up any second now. And I wanted to get this out of the way so people understand that to play Oblivion on the harder difficulties, you kind of have to do this uh, whole thing here where, I mean, you level up properly, otherwise it just doesn't work at all. Okay, there we go. We finally got it up. So, we put athletics up by one. This has not, well, that was a major skill, so just in this one time it's fine because we were testing it out. So, you'll notice it's gone up a little bit because we're progressing towards leveling up. However, if you check the skill diary now, and you go into summary, you will see that speed is now at three, which is exactly what I meant. Now we have three points in that. We want to get that to 10. So if we check speed specifically now, it'll tell us there's now one point in athletics, two in acrobatics, meaning that's three overall. That is literally how you level up in this game. You just have to beware of getting up your major skills, build your build around a way that it's not too many passive skills, like having acrobatics and athletics can be a bit annoying because they can level up pretty goddamn easy. So leaving one of them to minor skills, like try and leave them to minor skills, honest to God. They pass, they level up so passively and a quicker way to get your skills up without worrying. That's why I highly recommend not having them in major skills. There's practically no point other than the fact that, I mean, you level up faster doing something that's passive. So I, I, I don't see the sense in leaving it here. I built it this way because we were like talking about it in stream and I just built this character. Um, this is a character I did some stuff with, but I decided that for this playthrough, we'll keep it around because why not? I think it's fun. I like this character that we're playing. I do would like to continue have uh, the warrior thing. Uh, the class I've built is <laughs> my own custom class. We're doing warrior and we're ignored because I mean there's super goddamn resistance to cold. However, I highly recommend playing the Breton in this game. Their magic resistance is absolutely great for this because magic can suck ass in this game at the very beginning when you're going through it. And I'm kind of tired of playing uh, mages. I'm gonna be honest, boys. <laughs> And don't worry, part 16 is coming soon. So that's how you level up in this way. Putting that in there was probably not the best idea. And actually, you know what? I've decided now. Uh, hmm. Well, do I want to? I don't know if I want to go back in here and actually just remake the character quick. No, like reload and remake the character. Maybe play something else other than a Nord. Like doing a Breton wouldn't be that bad. Like even if we played Warrior. Having some magic would actually be pretty decent because we wouldn't have our athletics around. Okay, actually, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so the same character I have, like, skill-wise, we were building. But what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, edit them here. I am going to change around the race and some stuff. Um, we're keeping the name of this wonderful human being here who decided to uh, donate a load of money to me. So this legend here uh, is remaining. It's Icelandic. I called him. Borlafer, because I'm not able to speak Icelandic, and his name is Thorlafer, I think it is, but I'm going to keep Borlafer, because I commit to my mistakes. 
And so, like I said to you guys, I genuinely believe Bretons are great. They're particularly skilled at summoning and healing magic, which is great because I'm passively being up to heal is great. And as I said, you control the magic when you're leveling up, which is kind of what you want. Also, I have no idea if this footage is going to be choppy. I have no idea if there's going to be any problems. If there is, just please do bear with me. My graphics card is terrible. It's a 1050. That's it. It's not a 1050 Ti. Anything. It's a literal, literal crappy 1050, and it's holding me back. And it causes a lot of stuttering sometimes that I can't tell, and uh, it makes it a little hard to edit these because sometimes it out of syncs my audio and stuff. But I, I have a second audio backup. That's how I can fix it usually. Just <laughs> be patient, all right? So I'm kind of going to leave him looking the way he is. I do like having my uh, hero Zion. So we're going to... We've changed to a Breton. Uh, it says we are over in Cumberd. However, uh, I mean, we're not <laughs> at all. We're also going to edit our bird sign. Uh, do I want mage? I do like... No, see, warrior is great because of the bonus points to endurance. So I'm going to keep warrior. Warrior I'm going to keep. Because I would like to keep doing hand-to-hand -hand and stuff. I think, like, what's... I can't, it's not a spell sword, is it? A bard, maybe? What's the name of a character who does, like, combat but also doubles in magic and stuff? It's not a battle mage, because they're just heavy armor with magic. Anyway, I'm going to edit up my class a bit. So we're going to make a custom class again. We're going to specialize in combat, because I think combat's a great thing to have on the side that you can have control over. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our favorite attributes into... Uh, intelligence and we'll do endurance because strength's easy to level up and then what we'll do is we're not going to put anything passive in we are going to take armor that's you that's you fixing up your your uh, equipment and stuff which is you know you want we want to get blade obviously uh, blade is absolutely fantastic uh, we are going to take do i want one of these no i don't think i do uh, i think we'll take hand to hand because I think hand-to-hand -hand is just kind of fun sometimes. No, we won't take hand-to-hand. -hand. No, no, no. We will take heavy armor. We might take it. We'll see. Um, this is... You see, this is passive. The more you sell, the higher this will get. And again, you might want to be careful with this. And it can limit you because you might want to level up proficiently. Which is what I'm going to be doing. I refuse to level up until I have at least two fives. And if you get, only get two fives by mistake, put the rest of it into luck. Just trust me. Luck governs all skills. Don't put anything else in anything else. You'll just want luck. Luck is a really decent attribute to level up uh, in the in, in the later game. You do not want securities major. The amount of the chests that you are going to be lock picking this will level you up so fast. And power leveling in this game, as I said, it hurts you when you're in the higher difficulties. All right, we're gonna take restoration because healing is good. Again, we want to be careful with restoration. Um, but I mean. It'll be pretty heavily in our combat, so we might as well. I'm going to take Blunt as well. Uh, we're going to take Block. We're going to be a mix with just... As I said, I don't want to do any other magic other than healing. And you know what? I think we will take Marksman as our last one. I think that's it, yeah. So we have Restoration, Marksman, Heavy Armor, Blunt Blade, Block, Armor. And I think we're good to go with that. All right, this is the name of our class. You should totally not read it in a way outside of adhering to... I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, we're replacing Fat Dab. <laughs> there it is, boys. Sub to Irish, the greatest class. Which, it actually thinks we're a barbarian. Funny enough, with that picture. But, I mean, it's pretty similar in classes. I think the only difference is I have endurance and... Uh, at strength and in speed, I think, are battle ma uh, barbarian, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, strength and speed, so... Alright, so obviously we are over in Cumberd at the moment. We're seven over. So we're one of drops. Of I picked up all this stuff so I could sell it. Uh, I guess we will... We can't drink anymore. We have limits to what we can drink because this game likes to be realistic. I'm not even sure what I want to call this, but I mean, I really do hope people want to see this. Like, I assume people want to see this Oblivion playthrough. This is the beginning of my Oblivion Let's Play, by the way. Uh, I should be able to record this game at ease because it's so old. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll be doing... I am continuing Skyrim, don't worry. We're just going to do them, you know, whenever... I'm, if I'm going to do Skyrim one day, I'll do that. Oblivion, we'll see how this goes. If this doesn't work out, we'll just... We'll keep at Skyrim. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. Did you know I totally stream, by the way? And you should totally come by my streams. Uh, we're going to take the Skill Diary because I think this mod doesn't wreck the game. I think this mod is fantastic. It's so simple in what it does because the game doesn't make it... The game doesn't tell you what you have skill points in. You have to track it. So if you don't want to use this mod at all, do yourself a favor. Get a piece of paper, a pen, and mark down every increase in skill. 
you will count your skill points that way. It's a bit more tedious. This is why I like having this book. Obviously, you're in console. You're going to have to use pen and paper. That's just the way it is. So, uh, I'm not going to bother with any dungeons over here. The difficulty should be... Yeah, it's around a half point for us. So, again, if I screw up, you know, we'll just move the difficulty down. So, it should be fine. Uh, there's some pretty nice places over here. To start working a bit of our uh, combat and stuff. What I'm thinking of doing to level up points on the side is I'm thinking of what we'll do is we'll focus on the... I think I have a disease of some sort. I must. I'm in the red numbers. No, it's ale. That's what's doing it. So we want to put more points into uh, probably intelligence, strength for sure, and definitely endurance. So that's going to be things like our armor, heavy armor, and block, which will passively level up. They're major skills, though. Uh, so what we want to do is, again, this takes a little bit of planning. I have to be very careful with what I've chosen here. So I think well, we might actually wear some light armor. No, that's speed. Um, Alright, so Conjuration will definitely level up because intelligence. Why not? Um, hand to hand will be fun. I'll do that on the side as well. Athletics passively. That's speed though. For strength, we have this. For intelligence, we have Conjuration. Um, I think I actually put all of the strength stuff into this. So, <laughs> uh, we're just going to have to be super careful, I think. Hmm. Maybe I should go back and change. Nah, that's whatever. We'll we'll just be careful. So as of now, I have five points in strength. Three points in agility. Three points in speed. Three points in endurance. If we get three points and the five points in speed, I won't care. The whole point is you want to, you know, level up efficiently. As long as we can get strength ten and either intelligence or endurance ten, I'm happy. So we have five points in hand to hand. So if we can actually put five more points in the hand to hand, that's ten in strength. So honestly, we should just go up here and beat these guys up with our fists. At this point, we can actually still level up blade and block, and we will be guaranteed a ten uh, at the end of this. But I mean, it's whatever. We can do it this way. And I think, mm, do I want to level light armor? No, I don't really care for speed at the moment. Uh, as you can see, enemies are not hard to fight at the moment. Because we are still, you know, relatively low level. Uh, again, getting some block up won't be bad because of endurance. Uh, you get some pretty cool things for the skills later from leveling up. Uh, block. Your athletics leveled up. Alright, so. That's pretty cool. We leveled that up that way. Now, of course, if we start leveling up health, we're going to level up. So, again, just have to be really goddamn careful. That's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to put all these on. So, I think restoration of this is still revolved around you being in combat. So, we actually get a free hand-to-hand -hand skill increase with the mortal blood here. Which I think is a super cool little addition. Uh, I'll use some of my healing potions just because whatever. Just to uh, not weigh ourselves down all that much. So, again, if you check this now... Our strength is on 7 because of hand-to-hand, -hand, which means a guaranteed 5 or 10 in this. I've decided we'll allow our speed to go up as well. I don't mind, as I said. As long as it's strength and I can get into another one. I just want 5s. That's what I want. I want to be balanced out. So heavy armor, I think, at this point will level me up, uh, which we want to be careful about. See, our light armor is up a bit more now. I know you guys are finding it hard to see. Forgive me. I am currently beating up a bandit. And our light armor is actually going up pretty fast. Yeah, we have speed up to 7 and strength up to 8. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my endurance up to 10. And then I think that's 3 fives, if I'm not mistaken. That's how this game works. It's wonderful. And I will show you that that's how you... You'll see it. It's actually super simple, honest to God. Just people aren't sure because Bethesda doesn't tell you. This bandit is very tanky for some reason. Very tanky indeed. Holy crap. However, we're still getting some skills up here, thankfully. And uh, very fast, actually, believe it or not. Our light armor is going up very fast because we're taking a lot of hit. I should decide to take out my sword for this one because Hanhan seems to be taking a long time to beat her with. So, uh, yeah, we'll just use the sword. That seems to be doing a lot more damage because, yeah, I know. Hanhan at the beginning is a bit hard to get around. So... As you can see, we have speed at 11, which is super good. 
So we just need two more points in strength and five in endurance for 555, if I'm not wrong. Right, I have another bandit here. It's so dark at the moment, actually. I think I'll put up the brightness. Yeah, it's very dark, man. Oblivion can be really dark. So we have a bandit ringleader. We've got our heavy armor up a bit, which is good, because we want to get our endurance up. And we got our light armor, because I'm wearing a mixture of both. That's why. All right, there's another bandit ahead of us. We will take out this uh, person. My objective today is to level up once to show you guys basically this is how it's going to work for us. And once I do that and I get the three fives, I will be extremely happy. Uh, in my books anyway. So there's another bandit running around here. We might as well take some damage. I mean, there's no harm. Uh, it'll level up our stuff a bit more. The best way to do this is being surrounded by rats. She shot an arrow backwards. We'll actually just get these chests open as well. Yeah, it gets our security up, of course. Uh, security governs uh, uh, agility. So as long as you just keep an eye on the book. And also keep an eye on your, your level up thing that you're not going up too far. So our speed's at 12, strength's at 8. I don't know if having numbers go over affects it. Hopefully not. I think more efficiently you don't want it to because I don't think there's... A limit to your skills and I think you can over level actually maybe by doing this if I'm not mistaken She's still shooting me I'm gonna use hand to hand on her keep getting this up because we're getting hand to hand up very fast and one more on this And then all we have to do is put points into endurance. That's it. And then we should have the 10 10 and 10 There's just a couple of more bandits around here Bowmen aren't like in Skyrim. They actually take damage because it's kind of realistic. I love how you can block a giant warhammer with your fists. I think that's so funny. <laughs> and we have a lot of magic in because we're a Breton, which is pretty cool. Just one more Khajiit to fight here. What I'll actually do is I'll actually equip my heavy armor. Uh, just so we uh, get more into heavy armor from doing this. Alright, I think our strength's at 10 now, if I'm not mistaken. I know I keep going back to this, and I do apologize. I just want to show you guys that it's actually super simple. So, strength's at 10, speed's at 10. We need one more. If we haven't screwed up anything. So all we need to do is get our endurance up. And that should be easy with our major skills. And we can level up at the same time. So we need more three more points in endurance. And we have three more ways to get major skills. So right, that's another heavy armor up. We actually might just let keep let this Khajiit keep hitting us. It seems to be working. I'm not going to use restoration. Don't want a chance putting it up. So we're just going to use some potions. Heal that way. Uh, we shouldn't be too bad now. Where are we actually in heavy armor right now? Yeah, we've nearly leveled up one more time. And oh yeah, block works as well. I should be holding block down while I do this because block is endurance. So now we need one more point. Yeah, and we should be able to get three fives. Okay, cool. So now all we need to do is sleep. And if I am not mistaken, all right, this is the moment of truth. This is going to be really awkward if I've messed something up, all right? But as I said, two fives is good. So we can't see what we have now because we need to sleep. We're going to do that, boys. And as you can see, through the power of a little bit of patience, we have three fives. Five into strength, five into speed, and five into endurance. That's five, five, five. Clean across the fucking board, boys. That's all it takes. A little bit of management. A little bit of watching. Having a book is easier, but a bit of pen and paper. You know? And here you go. How, how simple is that? Now we have even higher skills with athletics, light armor, and acrobatics. Even higher endurance, which is uh, more fatigue, more health. How much our health will increase when we sleep. And raise levels governs the skills of block armor and heavy armor. And then this is with blade, blunt, you know, hand to hand. Oh, it's beautiful. I've never gotten three fives in my life, by the way. This is my first time, too. <laughs> Little bit of patience. Now we do the same thing again. And we're at a fresh start. No progress in our level. And But how this... Oh, yeah. And we have nothing in our skill book, as you can see. But this is how you do it. This is how you stay on par on the same difficulty. This is how you don't go down. I will finish this dungeon, I think. And then sell some stuff. And I, I mean, there's no harm in continuing. Oh, man. That is such a good feeling. We're actually supposed to go straight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there is an Aelid statue we're going to get. So, again, I'm going to keep doing this. Hopefully, we'll get some more repair armors to heal our stuff. But as you can see, our hand-to-hand -hand is... Doing a bit more damage, which is noticeable. Uh, no harm. I mean, I maybe pick a restoration seems like a little bit of a mistake, but it's whatever. I think it's actually this one. I'm thinking of the Ayla statue section. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to come to progress, where the dead Khajiit is over there. 
So we'll just gather whatever loot's around here. No harm in opening all these caskets and getting all the loot. And this is a really, really super good first dungeon to start off in because you can get an Aelith statue, which introduces you to one of the coolest fetch quests in the game with the uh, with collecting statues for uh, I think it's Umbacano. If I, no, it's not Umbacano. That's the Count. I, I can't. I, it is. I think his name is Umbacano. I can't remember. As well as that, it's a, it's like Ember Shard Mine. It's a super good or Bleak Falls Barrow. It's a super good introduction, you know, to the game. We'll take Fur Greaves as well, just in case, you know. So you can skip a big section by opening this here. I open it anyway for the crack because why not? You'll notice that one of the absolute worst enemies in this game to fight are zombies. They are an absolute nuisance. But because we've been leveling up, it won't make a huge difference. But we should probably definitely use our weapons for this. And as long as you have stamina, it should be fine. Uh, they are definitely, as I said, one of the hardest to fight. But we are still doing damage, which is the main thing. They are just very tanky. I definitely regret putting restoration in now, I think. And as you level up, you get introduced to like uh, loads of uh, new cool enemies and stuff. So we've contracted Hell Joint. Hopefully, we have a potion of cure disease. We do not. Never mind. If you want to quickly get your health up, by the way, and not level up restoration or anything, just wait an hour. It just restores all your stats. There is another zombie down here. Also, remember to save. Get your stamina get up a bit here and there. Try not to run out. You do less damage because damage is dictated around stamina a lot. I don't know the exact numbers. Well, at least I feel like I have a chance, you know, which is the main thing. So, was that cure disease? No, that was cure poison. Never mind. So, hopefully, we can actually pick up a potion in one of the random loots around here. So, we're standing on the switch. Oh, yeah, it opens here. My bad, my bad. So, skeletons can be one of the most annoying enemies in this game. They can be super tanky at times, which can be extremely irritating to fight. So, we just want to check our, uh, our skill book just in case, our level up. So, we're actually... Level up a bit, so we should, as I said, be careful with Blade and Blood. I've kind of screwed myself a little where we're kind of committed to... We could use Destruction, I mean, as an alternate source, but hand-to-hand -hand is kind of our commitment at this point. So, as I said, you see, we're leveling up fast because it takes 10 points to level up. And as of now, we're on 2 for Strength, and we've kind of spread out across the board, so we want to be careful here. And you can see how much damage your hand-to-hand -hand does if you hover over hand-to-hand. -hand. Uh, we're doing one extra bit of damage with it at the moment. There is different... Uh, pieces of armor you can get to help you so we're going to be getting them as well kind of like the gloves of the fugilist in skyrim you know there should be one more skeleton around here no it says there's an enemy but obviously i'm not sure where it is so yeah we're gonna go this way wakeland stones are super handy again i've kind of screwed up with the way i've made my character skills all major so i've kind of made my character more fitting for a non-efficient leveling build but you know the challenge is nice and well i mean it wouldn't be me if i didn't make it ridiculously more difficult than it needs to be and this is just a little secret room again we're going to keep punching these bony boys ridiculing their calcium levels yeah and the hand's a little simple but i mean it's cool making it work oh, yeah and i should probably be using my torch more <laughs> just get all these switches it's the door and uh, like over there that's the right one but we can get a, a bunch of stuff up here oh yeah we should probably equip light armor for this my bad uh, however, some of our, our stuff is broken, but it's whatever. We have full light armor now, so we don't have to worry about heavy armor going up at all. It won't. As long as you are not wearing a piece of heavy armor. I definitely should have put blade or block as a minor skill. I now realize the error of my ways. I see the chamber keys here for the door. You can open it like by lock picking, but it's on hard, and it's really just not worth it in this game. We have our fatigue is kind of low, so that's why they're staggering us a lot. Just make sure to use your potions. Some of our armor is broke as well, so we're going to take a bit more damage. However, I haven't found any repair hammers. Well, there's one more skeleton right here. We'll beat him up. Feck him up. He's taking a lot more damage than the other ones. That or we just got lucky with the staggering. So we've leveled up our hand-to-hand -hand and light armor a few times. And again, check the skill diary. I'm probably going to be doing this a lot. We're five now in strength, four in speed. So speed, strength, and endurance or agility are probably going to be our main focus. However, we have... Put, I think this one, let me check. Block armor and heavy armor for endurance. So if we check this, block, heavy armor. Yeah, we put all the endurance in our major tree. So we would want to level up just endurance. Good lord, what have I done? <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's, it's whatever. We'll put some into speed. There's no harm in some speed. Again, you can get the efficiency of all the skills in the game. I guess... No harm in putting up agility. Total fatigue is great because of our combat skill. Like, we can make a hand-to-hand -hand build work here. I'm going to be honest with you. Security, sneak, and marksman. We don't have any of them in, so... Take the Virelist Stone. 
They can actually fully enchant a weapon if you need them later, or you can sell them for pretty high prices. Okay, and we'll just beat up the bony boys. Alright, we'll wait an hour, we'll let our health recharge. There is a mage by the end of this. And uh, we have dragon skin, which I'm going to show you the wonders of. Uh, it's a very high shield. Again, I think one of the beauties other than having this specific character in this game is like the ability to have these super cool stories, man. Alright, we just got the quest marker for uh, Chivernalis. We're going to take the Aelid statue. That'll trigger the side quest. I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to go straight onwards. I'm going to avoid these very slow pendulum trappy things and just get some of the side loot. Keep beating up these boys. God, we're going to be doing super punches by the end of this, man. Just going to auto attempt for a bit because, I mean, it gets our skilled up a lot faster when we do it. God, I really wish I had a repair hammer. <laughs> I know I'm kind of commentating what I'm doing, but again, this is kind of just the first thing to really show you guys. Like, I'm, I'm absolutely I'm certain that so many of you watching had no idea how to do this efficiently and didn't realize how simple it is. Honest to God. And it's not your fault. The game doesn't explain it at all. I don't think it's a terrible system. I like this system. Morrowind and Oblivion both have it. I just don't- I think they got rid of it because they didn't explain it, people didn't understand it, and then for some reason Bethesda got weird. So we're gonna use Dragon Skin here. Big boy shield, we will take a lot less damage, look at that. Look how little damage we're taking now. Our illusion is being drained, we're gonna have to definitely go to a church after this and fix all this. Alright, so we knocked him down, funny. We'll take the ring because ring jewelry of all sorts sells really well. We'll take this brass wing and that. We'll take the keys to get out of this place. That was the boss to this place, so, you know, this isn't too bad. Yeah. Gotta protect skull, some gold, and yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much it for this area. I accidentally picked up a shovel. Wow. Yeah, I think that's this place cleared. The sepulcher key opened this up. I do love how these things move when you walk over them. These dungeons definitely do feel like they're overgrown, the Aelid cities. And this will be the last casket of the day that we get to open. And we can head out now. We've leveled up, gotten a bunch of our skills up. Where are we actually now on our skill points? Uh, our summary is we've gotten six in strength, six in speed. So it's definitely looking like this time it's going to be agility. Uh, so what I want to do from now on is level up my only endurance and major skills. That's what we're definitely going to want to do. So this mud crab is making it so we can't fast travel. So we need to fix that by beating this boy up. I just slept and there's a loading screen. I feel like someone's near us. It usually does that when there's an encounter. Oh, well, maybe not this time. Oh, I'm getting very framey for some reason. That's me. If you guys are seeing it, don't worry. That's not just you. I oh, will pick up the Nern Root. Why not? We might as well start the quest for later. The Sprig of Nern Root, the unusual ingredient nobody knows about, which we can do later. So we're going to go to the Market District. And I'm going to hope to do everything. And that includes Allies of Bruma. All right? This time, I will actually do the quest Allies of Bruma and not fight with the Bruma mercenaries. So we should be fine now to go into all the shops. I find the shops work way better in this game than Skyrim. Sometimes shops just don't open in Skyrim and it's really annoying. So let's head into the best defense. Definitely want to buy some uh, hammers for ourselves. But unfortunately, we can't use it at the moment. So we're going to sell some of the crap we have here that we're not using. Yeah, everything we have is kind of uh, <laughs> broken. No wonder our thing wasn't going up. We're going to keep the gems for later. I am going to sell the Wakeland Stones because money. You do need to sell the Aelid statue to trigger the quest, so do sell it. There's literally no reason to hold on to it. All right, I think that's everything for here, so we'll buy some repair. Repair hammers are super easy to come by, so there really isn't a reason to buy them. Uh, I'm going to buy 10, I think. As I said, this time we've kind of screwed up the endurance leveling, but it's fine. We can sort that next time. So I have no harm in leveling up this. Let me just check quickly. Yeah, we're fine. So we can use the repair hammers and we'll fix everything we have here. Our armor skill increased. So I want to get a boat because we want to actually level up agility this time. I want 10 in agility. So we don't I really think need anything from this guy. Aegis of the Apocalypse is so good for heavy armor builds, boys. So good. And you can just stunt the health drain effect by getting better health stuff. So he actually doesn't have any bows. There is a bow placed near the corner. We're not going to be too good on money this time, but it won't matter. Let's just sell all the random crap we have. Cure our disease and move on. I'm going to sell... No, I'll keep one. Maybe later if I want to just spam up one of my things, I'll keep them. Potions are the best way to make money in this game, man. They're worth so much. Same as Skyrim. I'm going to sell my sorcery potions because we have such good magic pools that it's not really a problem. See how fast we're leveling up our mercantile skill? This is why you shouldn't put it as a major skill. So many people are like, no, put, put mercantile. That's a really good thing. No, not at all. Not when you're trying to level up efficiently. Not at all. Okay, we should have a bunch more inventory space now. 
Yeah, 146 of 275. Not too shabby. I assume Slash and Smash has a bow. There is another place over there. We'll, we'll assume it that this good old orc has one. No, I should have known from the Slash and Smash, smash that uh, he definitely didn't have any. But yeah, we should totally get a helmet as well. Uh, you can actually check these sometimes. They have gold. Sometimes. There is, we are going to get Umbra later. So we will be getting the uh, Apotheosis staff. So she sells both, thankfully. Uh, she does have a leather helmet. I think I'll take that. Better efficiency in leveling up. And we definitely could find a bow, but it's whatever. It's only 22, so we'll take the bow. Agility. We don't have anything for agility in major skills, so we can level up agility super fast. And again, have a really powerful character. As of now, hand-to-hand -hand is definitely my focus. So, we've efficiently leveled up. Uh, we are going to put on our helmet, so we have our full uh, equipment. We're, we're a fisty boy, and uh, we have it saved, and we're at Coral for next time. Efficient progress. I mean, the way forward. However, boys, I think that's me uh, done today. Thank you for chilling with me, boys. Like it or dislike, 100% helps me, and I appreciate it no matter what criticism I get. Consider becoming a sponsor of the channel for as low as $2 by hitting the join button below. A bunch of new perks. It's up to you. Let me know what you thought. To those who are tier 1's friends of my eek, Count Andrek, Paul CC, Beelin, Mariana Florley, Zane Harrison, Monolox911, Cosmic Sheep, Doom 32 x Akana, Mr. Obsolation, Katana Death, Dragonfire 481, Lucas Bueller, Sam Van Den Abil, Margaret Stafford, Dandy Indoorman, DGC, David Delera, The Failed Channel Who Never Loads, Dustin Ognowski, Noah E, and Victoria Breyer. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are great. To those in tier 2, Dragon Slayers, Emu 2, Blake Wireman, Thomas Sterling, that German guy, Morgan Gibbs, Skipped Record, Noah Burt, Weather Seed, Richard Carney, The One and Only Dree, Chloe B, Philo Baggins, Vid Begonia, Lady Macbeth, Lilinor, LNW, Thor Lafer, Staz, Chevron Milna, G, Mike from Texas, Michael McConnell, Zachary Fluke, Laurie, Jar Jar, and Chaz. Again, you guys are great. Thanking you. You're awesome. And a big, big up to the Daedric Gods, the Tier 3 guys. Thank you so much. Perturbed Orc, Braden Milholland, Orion, Eyes of Fork, HS113, Caleb R, Dylan Ward, Lilu, Monkey Egg, Caius, Daniel Sharp, Jerome the Sheep, and Nicholas, Lyo Boomer. You guys are all awesome. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you later.